In 2012, the Harvard Business Review called data science the sexiest job of the 21st century. Just this year, 10 years after their initial publication, they made another article that questioned if this is still the case. What does this even mean? Just because a career is sexy, does it mean that it's enjoyable or does it mean that it's a good career? In this video, I break down the different elements of the data science role and I give my take on if it's a good career for you to pursue. Honestly, it isn't all sunshine and rainbows. You'll get my real take on the field after working in it for five plus years. I'll break down the career based on growth prospects, the nature of the work, benefits, and the work-life balance, exit opportunities, and what I like to call secret sauce, which is what I use to determine if the work aligns with my personal goals. Before I dive in, let me know what your most important factor for choosing a career is. I'm really interested in if this video changes your perspective at all. Since I happen to be a data scientist, it'd be inauthentic if I didn't jump in by looking at some of the data. As you can see from the Google Trends information, data science jobs are being increasingly searched for over the last five years. To add to that, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that data science will create around 11 million job openings worldwide by 2026. Honestly, I think this bodes pretty well for growth in the data science career field. If you're interested in reading more about the stats that I use, I link all the resources in the description. You might be thinking, oh great, the searches are up. That means the market's getting more saturated because more people like myself are interested in landing a role. This is only partially true. What people don't realize is that data science at most organizations is fairly rudimentary. Many companies are currently building their infrastructure out and they'll continue to hire data scientists as these organizations mature. Actually, there's been this massive boom in hiring data engineers right now. This is a position that is upstream from data science. This suggests to me that data science will continue to be important and in demand after many of these companies reach their next stage of data maturity. I have a full video on this linked in the description and in the top right corner of the video if you wanna learn more about that. Aside from saturation, many people are worried about AutoML and the idea that data science work will be automated away in the foreseeable future. I have a pretty firm stance that this won't be the case anytime soon. The nature of data science roles might change slightly, but we'll always need people to be analyzing the data, running the models, and explaining the findings to stakeholders. Look at accountants, for example. In theory, we should have been able to automate their work for the last 20 years or so, but that profession is still around and kicking. My full thoughts on automation are also included in that video that I mentioned before that's called Is Data Science Dying? To be honest, that was a fairly long way for me to tell you that I think data science will be around as a field for a while, and there'll be plenty of opportunities in the space. Now let's talk about the nature of the work and we'll see if data science is a good fit for you based on that. I won't mince words, I don't think data science work is for everyone. Let's find out if you're the type of person that data science might appeal to. First, are you comfortable with ambiguity? Second, can you handle both dedicated individual work and also collaborative work? And finally, do you like learning new things every day? If you answered yes to these three things, there's a good chance that data science would be a viable career for you. If you answered no to any of them, there's also a chance you could possibly find a role that would work for you within the data domain, but you'd really have to be very meticulous with your job search to find that specific role. These are the three elements that I think make the nature of data science work special. Let's break them down individually. First, let's talk about ambiguity. Many data science roles are still poorly defined. Even at the entry level, it can be up to you to determine how to create value for your team. You're often given a prompt or a problem and you're expected to use whatever approach that you deem fit to create a solution for it. Personally, I love this aspect of the work, but for many people, it can be overwhelming. It's often completely different than school where you have these clearly defined outcomes and these clearly defined inputs and you just have to run them through a model. You can test out if you like this aspect of the work and you can also get more comfortable with it by trying some projects online on Kaggle or some of these other websites. Now moving on, something that's a bit different about data science is the nature of communication. In most organizations, you're expected to do individual work, building models, cleaning data, whatever it might be, but you also communicate your findings to stakeholders. This can be very different from other tech careers like software engineering. Often you have to work directly with stakeholders to make sure that they're getting good value from the analysis that you're providing. Again, this is something that I personally enjoy, but I could totally see how others might be uncomfortable with communicating findings to coworkers, stakeholders, other people within the organizations. You can either work on the skill and begin to enjoy it, or you can try to find positions that have less stakeholder interaction. I find that if this is an issue, software engineering, data engineering, and possibly machine learning engineering could be more viable options for you. Stakeholder interaction varies between all of these different roles, but I think data science or data analyst roles focus a little bit more on human interaction than some of these other ones. Now for what I believe to be the most important one, continued learning. This is something that's integral to the success of data scientists. 
New technologies, new methods, and new systems are put into place every single day. Data scientists need to at least be able to keep up with the changes that are happening within their respective organizations. If you don't have an appetite to continue growing your knowledge and your skills, you likely won't have a long career in this profession. Unlike the other two, I don't see this as something that you could work around in your career. But to clarify, I don't think you need to learn every new tool or read every research paper that comes out. You just need to be comfortable with picking up new skills and you have to have systems and habits in place to pick up a little bit more each day. Speaking of learning, this is a great time to talk about the sponsor of this video, 365 Data Science. I've personally produced a course with them and I believe that they're a great resource at an amazing value for learning the essential skills for the data science domain. One thing I love about 365 Data Science is that they practice what they preach. They're a data-driven company and they're constantly using data that they collect to give you a better learning experience. Data recently showed them that the biggest issue with e-learning is persistence and showing up every day. Their new improved platform includes gamification features with leaderboards, experience points, coins, collectibles, and more to keep the learning fun and make it easy for you to create a daily habit of learning these important skills. You can use my link in the description to get 57% off your annual membership. Now let's talk about the topic you've all been waiting for benefits and pay. Often the first question I get is how much money does the job make? I think this is important, but the issue of compensation is far more nuanced than just total compensation. According to the Stack Overflow developer survey, the average data scientist in the US makes around $120,000 per year. It's important to note that this number can have tremendous variation. Within the US, data scientists could be making upwards of $200,000 per year at specific tech companies in cities like San Francisco or New York, or they can be living very comfortably for say $75,000 per year in smaller cities working in less tech heavy companies. Again, globally, this is a completely different story as well. If you aren't in the US, I do some additional research and some due diligence to see how this career stacks up in your specific location. I will note that on the Stack Overflow developer survey, there were plenty of jobs that made higher income than data scientists. A few that stood out to me were data engineers, backend developers, and project managers. While data science is by no means a slouch, if maximizing your income is your only goal, it might not be the best option for you to go down this career path. Outside of tech, if you're comparing data science to other careers like consulting or investment banking, there are other factors that you should also consider. More so than total compensation, I think it's very important to consider hourly rate. From my experience, data science is a pretty steady schedule where you don't often have to work tremendous amounts of overtime. Depending on the company, you can expect to work fairly consistent weeks of maybe 40 to 50 hours. On the other hand, at some consulting firms or investment banks, you might be making twice as much money but be working 80 hours per week. I find that data science and a lot of tech roles in general have far better earnings per hour than some of these other domains. From personal experience, I was a management consultant before transitioning to data science, and I quite prefer my work-life balance now compared to my previous career. Speaking of other benefits, there's also a large portion of data science work that can be done remotely. If this is something important to you, this could be some major points towards the data science career space. I won't dive too much into the other aspects of job benefits like healthcare, time off, et cetera, because they can vary just so much between different companies. I don't have all that information. Let's turn our focus now to exit opportunities. You probably don't wanna be thinking about leaving right when you get in, but I think exit opportunities are an important part for evaluating if data science is a good career or not. If you wanna progress in your career, what can you expect from data science? I think data science sits in a fairly unique spot. So first, you have marketable skills like programming and data visualization. Second, you developed communication skills from sharing your work with stakeholders. And third, you have really cool project experience from your day-to-day -day tasks. I personally think that this sets you up well in almost any career that you might wanna pursue after. You have options to move into senior data roles, more engineering focused roles like data engineering or ML engineering, or even more operational roles like project management or product ownership. I personally even took a little stint as an AI product owner, but I found that I preferred more technical data science work over time and I switched back. Again, I personally think that data science is one of the most flexible careers in the technology domain. If you love it, great. But if not, it offers you a lot of options to try other things and build relevant skills for most other domains. Now for the secret sauce. This is my catch all for the things that didn't really fit neatly into a category. Now, again, honestly, most of this depends on the specific companies that you're applying to, but it's important to note them too. I think one major thing that can make the data science job not fun is company politics. Over the past five or so years, data science has been hyped up a lot and many companies have invested in the domain because they feel like they needed to in order to stay competitive. Unfortunately, building out a data science team doesn't mean that you have good data infrastructure or a good data strategy to make the data team useful to the business. Historically, many of my data science peers have been in positions where they're either doing work that they weren't excited about or they were doing work that they didn't feel 
drove value for the organization that they were working at. I really think that the tide is turning and most companies are building out data engineering teams to give data scientists high quality data to work with and are also understanding how to weave data into the culture of their respective organizations. But I can't deny that this is still a real problem for a number of data science positions. Another important consideration for data science revolves around landing a job in the first place. This can require a lot of effort, learning the relevant skills, building a portfolio, and also interviewing. One nice thing is that after you've landed your first role, it's really easy to switch and progress in this field. While the barrier to entry can be somewhat high, it's still accessible if you're willing to put in the time and the effort. I have another video that I've linked above about the expectations around the interview process. I also have my course on 365 Data Science about how to interview and build out your portfolio for the domain. With all that said, is data science really a good career? From my perspective, I think it definitely is if it suits you. If you're comfortable with ambiguity, you can work well by yourself or with others. And most importantly, you're interested in continued learning. I think the profession is definitely worth a shot to pursue. As I mentioned, the field's growing, compensation is competitive, and exit opportunities are plentiful, although it isn't without its idiosyncrasies. If you want to learn more about the career, check out some of the other videos that I've linked in the description or that I've left on the screen somewhere around here. Thank you so much for watching, and best of luck on your data science journey.